If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. It's also what we use to make the Cardassian podcast. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. The Cardassian podcast. The Cardassian podcast. The Cardassian podcast. Listen if you want to. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Cardassian podcast. Episode 63. Just a regular What's number. Up? I won't mm-hmm. celebrate the number. I won't do anything. Then why are you like even that. talking about it? I'm, right now? I'm just I'm mm-hmm. just saying I'm not celebrating the number because hey, somebody in No, this room, somebody me? So listen, there's nothing wrong with celebrating a number, just don't talk about it. I can't wait for the number six numbers away from this one. Yeah. Really? Why is that? You have to do some math to figure that out. But you don't have to do math to do it. Oh, my God. Wow. 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 All right. So before we get into the first segment, remember that this is the last month in October that you can get the only Mm -hmm. in October watermelon merch t-shirts on shopsimgym.com. October of 2021. Yes. Is. So if you're listening yeah, to this, this is actually this is actually your last week to get it. Yeah, it's the last week. So literally, like you, you have, have a this week week only to get it. I mean, like this yeah. is your last chance. And they're really so cool goodbye. neon neon designs that you're never gonna get again. Okay. Yeah. Because so I made sure it, of that. Buy it. I'm literally going to burn down the factory that makes them. So literally so only you, October. Yeah. So that you can't get any more. Nobody's well, gonna we'll be build- in there. Then we'll build another factory. Yeah, for the next round. Yeah. And, you know, we collect the insurance money. It'll be a future accident, won't it? Where everybody yeah, will not, be evacuated. It's, it's never pre-planned. So also, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see some, like, uh, funny moments that you think is funny that we find traumatizing on the Cardassum Podcast Highlights YouTube channel, subscribe to it and check it out. So now we're going to get into the questions and comments. You let these questions and comments on simgproductions.com slash podcast. And wow. if you couldn't hear me say that, go listen to every other f***ing episode. You know what I'm saying? You're you're like a speed reader, Chloe. No, I'm just said it many, she many just times. Has that memorized. Yes, I mean, remember back in the like the old old days when I used to like give the announcement for every subject. I was like, you know, like when it was like really good. Yeah, I'm glad we got rid of that. Okay, so this question comes from your mom, Courtney. Okay. Oh OMG. Hey, fighter and survivor Courtney. Wow. And, and Kem, K E M. Ask yourself, Chloe, why her they name would is say Kem. My na- her name is Kem, K I M, Kem. Move on. Oh, wait. There's another one. Err. Wasn't she called like something along the lines of, you know, I'm getting really sick of the slander. Cola Chloe. Bear. My name is Koala. Chloe, asshole. Or something. Anyway, my question is for... Or something is pretty close. Yeah. (sighs) Shut up. Anyway, my question is for Kem. It's not spelled like that. It's Kem. Who I admire for never giving up on her stupid ass failing company. I recently bought... That was like a backhanded compliment. It was a compliment. It's true. It was a backhanded slap. I recently bought the new Glow 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 butt wipes. I followed the instructions and put the wipes. On my elbows, but they left a permanent burn. We see me in see me in court um, next week, Kem, or I'm kidnapping your lawyer. Bye, guys. Love you. Stay, watermelon, Courtney, my unbothered queen. Kem, I yes. think this is for you. That well, first of all, you have what? to understand that the glow, glow, glow butt wipes are B U T wipes meaning they're everything but wipes you then don't wh- use them wow. you're not then- supposed to actually use them for wiping on your skin it said the directions to put it on your elbow that's what they're saying 
I mean, the instructions might have it, did, it said put them. Oh put my! Put them. You hear her not stuttering. Rub. You do not wipe yourself with it. So you so they don't even open the package. They just put the you put it. Yeah, on. like it's an ice pack. No. Glow, glow, glow. But B U T. Kim, wipes. do you understand how false advertising that is? Why That's can't you just say false. it's an ice pack, Chloe? If you knew business and I do, how, bitch. Then you would know. I do know. No one knows anything you about put, any product you, that, you put out. The instructions are, look, your mom, Courtney, even just repeated it to us. Put the wipes on your elbows. Uh-huh. You do not wipe with the wipes on your elbows. It's a failure to come up with a good name. It's a failure to come up with something that yeah, for a good much. name. No, it's, it's like clever because it's like glow, 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 but wipes. Like, so what it's is it? Not yeah. What is it? Like if you have allergy or scum or stuff like that, it could dissolve it in a second. But if you want to use it on your body, you must just place it on it, put it on it. You do not actually use it. Do anywhere in those instructions do I say use? No, I say put. If it's so, a Courtney. cleanser of some some kind that cleans algae, then that's like a boat cleaner. Yeah, then why well, are you selling yeah, it? I mean, why would why you put it on your elbow? On your body? Because Glow 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 boat cleaner was taken. Courtney, how do you feel about them calling you an unbothered queen? It's pretty accurate. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about the queen part, but maybe a little too yeah, they unbothered. They put a watermelon and a heart. Emoji. Yeah, maybe Love. a little too unbothered, though. Maybe. No. I wonder how Courtney would be if she was bothered. I think that would actually be like scary. Um. All right. So next question or comment, Kirby, what? Kirby baguette. Ba- baguette. Kirby baguette. A baguette is what? It's like a purse. All right. So I'm already it's starting. A, to... It's a mini purse. Bag et et is little just, bag. Just stop talking. I'm already reading this question. I feel like we should skip Kirby. So. We're going to skip Kirby. No, I Kirby. think we should continue, Chloe. I think we're going to skip Kirby. Look, there's a little, it says, dear Chloe, and then a little kiss emoji. Fine. Yeah, you, you shameless bitch might be a compliment. Shut up. Dear Chloe, kissy emoji, you shameless bitch. Okay. Maybe that's what, like said, like, you shameless bitch, like you go. <laughs> like it's a good thing. Yeah. First of all, inaccurate. I gave my I gave my mom some of the booty booty pop juice you kept promoting and her ass literally popped on my 30k dollar rug. Now how can I remove the gross ass blood stains and literally ass blood stains and feces from the rug? Should That's I graphic. use bl- wow. Yes it is. Should I use bleach or glow, glow, glow? I heard what? they're equally as good at removing dumb bitches from the face of the earth. Okay, first of first all. First of all, wow. did they just call their mother a dumb bitch? Uh, well, I'm reading the comment of a dumb bitch. First of all, Kirby, I will not accept the slander. Your booty does not grow to the size of it expanding. That is inaccurate. If you honestly have a problem, then you can contact. We have an actual contact where you can get help with for customer service. Okay. Was that a dig at me, Chloe? No, it's a dig at companies that don't have one that are irresponsible. Do you think that is a dig at you? Anyway, so I'm Kirby the number then, Chloe. 1-800-Booty-Booty. It's clever, right? So- Sure. So go there or even go to the website. We even have a live. Like if that happened, I think your mother didn't read the instructions. If your mother has certain conditions, you're not supposed to use booty, booty, pop juice, honey. Oh, and really? That's, that's on the caution. Okay. Yes. You can't use all products, sweetheart. You can't use booty, booty, pop juice then. People who have to deal with certain things, migraines, stupidity, not reading things. You shouldn't use it if you have those conditions. And clearly you have stupidity. So- what wow. happened here was Kirby's mother mm-hmm. had an overdose of booty booty pop juice. Yeah, and, and why was and why was your a thirty k rug? First of all, cheap. That's a cheap rug. Yeah, yeah that's a very. I cheap mean, like, rug. don't worry about that. Like, yeah, really. like it's not my business. And please don't send these graphic kind of questions to me. Okay, like we're here to make sure people up. We're a positive energy podcast here. 
fucked out. I didn't. I don't. I don't mind it. it uh, what I'm insulted about is the glow, glow, glow removing ass stains. Like how? Why would they even put glow, glow, glow and bleach in the same sentence? Like because they that's both what's... be deadly. How come I? How come you guys are looking at me like that's acceptable? Because it is. It is. No. Glow, 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 glow is stronger than bleach you don't even know what they you probably don't even know what product they used right because your products are so misleading what i know is that glow 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 like keep that name out of your mouth if you're talking about booty booty pop juice in the same yeah i would appreciate that i would truly appreciate that i don't want to be associated they should probably go with the bleach because the glow 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 will burn right through the rug well maybe that rug needs to be burned well, I certainly I would wouldn't burn want it. to keep a 30K rug. So you agree rug. it does burn it? No, I'm not saying glow, glow, glow can burn. I'm saying a certain quantity, if you were to pour it on, I wouldn't be surprised. Like with anything, you pour too much nail polish on a, a floor, there's going to be a hole. All right. So moving on to Monsef. Monsef, I guess. Or Monkef. More um, Monkef. Monkef. Yeah. Hey, Cardassum sisters, except for Kim. Wow. I want to rush. I, I want to rush this message since everything is at stake in my country because of Kim. Kim. I must be wow. really popular there. Five months ago, I accidentally dropped one of your products on my pet lizard and it immediately turned into a humongous radioactive monster. It destroyed my house and it ate my family. And attacked my city, and now it's after the whole country. Military got involved, and economy crashed. And soon, everything necessary for survival is going to stop. Like water and electricity. Kim! Mm -hmm. Kim! Mm -hmm. Please send us help. We're dying out here, and the god and the Glowzilla monster is still on the loose. Destroying whatever is on the way, my country is soon to be forgotten, all because of your glow, glow, glow product. Kim. This is a historical moment, not only for my company, but for this country that is soon about to go under because Monsef is like the lone survivor of Pompeii. And they're telling their story, and you know what? They will be missed. This, yeah, I'm sure this was their last message Kim. that got out of the country. Kim. Kim, you created a monster. First of all, it says very clearly in the instructions, do not drop this and do not have this around young children, teenagers, or lizards. This is not the same as what happened with the dumbass from before. This is not an overdose. They literally accidentally spilled something Chloe, on a lizard and it became I'm not, and their economy is ruined because of you and your product. Chloe, I'm not the one that dropped the product but on you the lizard. The f***ing product that caused a glowzilla, you stupid bitch. If anybody is at fault here, this is Monsev and oh, I'm sorry wow. that you destroyed your country, but if this would not hold up in a law of court. Oh my God. Monsef, well, I'm so sorry. Monsef if you can hear me, if you're lucky. alive. I think the lizard still likes him because it just ate the family and not him. Yeah. Or, so or you them. know what? You could turn this situation around. How? Have you ever become friends with you were already? That was your pet lizard. So it respects you. So what are they going to do? Rebuild the city together, Kim? Well, that product is no longer out. I know what product they're talking about. They're talking about the glow, 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 grow, grow, grow. What did I tell you? And it you? was definitely not meant for lizards. We don't oh, have it on the shelves anymore. I thought the grow, grow, grow was for hair. Well, initially. Well, what is it for really? No, I mean, it. It it's no longer on the market. So legally, okay, I can't talk but what about was it. The, what was the point of releasing that product knowing that something like this could happen? It's I, that was not meant to happen. If you didn't drop the product, what was it for? Growing. What? Well, it could have worked for your fingernails. It could work for your hair. That was the beauty about this: is that anything it touches, it can grow. But it you, couldn't control the size. But you are not no. But you are not meant to drop this on first animal abuse. Okay. That's animal abuse, right? And we All just right. read it. 
I'm yeah. gonna move on. If you live, Monsef, no. I'm gonna have you arrested like that. There's the <gasps> justice for lizards. Justice for lizards. Oh my god. Everybody Stop. with me? Oh my god. This abuse of this, is, this is like the reverse that your your glow 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 bars did. They were supposed to make your ass bigger, but they made them smaller. And I literally had to get rid of them. So what? Was That's this another why- bar? That's why these things are recalled. They get recalled so we can retest. You recall Re- them and then you send them to different countries. I your, think that's how Monsef got the product. Your whole business, your whole empire needs to be recalled. You you can't grow unless something fails at first. This has been failing for years. I'm sorry, Monsef. Thank you, Courtney, because that means we're growing. No. So you can't learn. You can't learn unless you you apologize for your mistakes. We do it. Apologize. Grow. Apologize. I'm not apo- Okay, I will apologize to that pet lizard because that lizard was abused by Monsef, and I can't believe. Uh. And now they're free. If anything. You're welcome. Free to kill. You're a delusional that, bitch. That's so, that's so, that's so watermelon. 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 Welcome to segment two. That's, that's so, so watermelon. Wild. Stop. No, not today, Courtney. It was not today, like Courtney. That, so. This is called rudeness, and I'm not going to stand like I'm not. So let me try again. Sure. Welcome to. Love that. Courtney, stop it. Oh, my God. I'm not doing anything. Both of you stop and don't defend me, Chloe. You got it, sis. This Welcome is your to topic, and you will be able to okay. read it for it. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm just I sticking up for you. I can't believe we're opening my segment You're getting bullying. emotional I'm done. Already. I'm done, Kim. I'm done. We're opening it with bullying. Great. I'm done. Great. Where we're given five random topics, and we decide if each thing is so watermelon or so not watermelon. Thank you. First topic. I'm about to say that, Chloe. I don't know why you said thank you. Yeah. Because I was finally respected. Wasting our time. But now you're just back to being rude. First topic, face tattoos. So watermelon or so not watermelon. Courtney, I think well, this is I for think, you. Yeah, I think, Courtney, you could chime in on this. Yeah, they're pretty watermelon right now. For now, just yeah, for, for now. now, for now, for the moment. That's a good answer. What yeah. about neck tattoos? You like neck tattoos? Sure do. All over mm. the body tattoos. Mm. Yep. Mm. I'm personally not crazy about face tattoos. I just think yeah. that I don't know. Like I, I think some like on like you know the arm or leg or whatever is cute. Yeah. yeah. But I think Kim once said that she doesn't like tattoos. Period, because she doesn't want to put tattoos on her body. You had well, said like, on, would you put would you put a sticker on a Bentley or something like that? I forgot what you said. Not on my body, well, but like if I, it depends. Like, what is if it was like my name on somebody's face, I would be flattered. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'd be like, that's a good. Not on me, but on somebody else's. Like, like a sh- like a shrine to you. And I don't have a big ego, like at all. I do not have a big ego, but I would love that. Listen, if you're listening to this and you have a face t- a tattoo, listen. If it works for you and you like it, love it. Love that for yeah. you. And it probably looks really cool. What I don't like is when a person has so many tattoos on their face that you can't even see who. Like, you can't even identify them anymore. Yeah, like who are you? Yeah, like they go- they would probably go by tattoo. Yeah. What are you hiding? Exactly. Yeah. Like, let me see inside your eyes. I mean, I could see in your eyes, but some people tattoo their freaking eyes. I've seen tattoos where, like, their face is like a tiger or a lion. Yeah. So if we were, if you were forced to get a face tattoo, what animal would you decide to make yourself for the rest of your life? Why would it have to be an animal? Because that's like, what else would you put on? Like, you, I'm like transforming your face. Nothing. I'd say a, a lizard. Next topic, cupcakes. So watermelon or so not watermelon. I had a cupcake once that was in the shape of a lizard. Wow. It was like it was interesting because I saw how it grew. Like I saw how it grew in the oven. Like it was just this tiny little innocent cupcake batter, pure, and then it just like grew. If someone were to put too much baking powder or flour then that's on that person for making a bad cupcake. 
Mm. Lizard. Got to read the instructions, but there were no instructions. It was weird. It was like the flower didn't have like instructions. I'm sure for this Mm. lizard cupcake, there were plenty of instructions and it said not to put it in a cupcake. Okay, but it's a cupcake for a lizard. So, I mean, like in the shape of a lizard. Eat it, Chloe. I would. I would. I would. Anyway, but cupcakes in general are beautiful. I love them. They're so watermelon. Don't eat too many of them. They can hurt your stomach. I think they're so watermelon. They're so watermelon, but they're a lie. What are you talking about? The name says cupcake, so it's supposed to be the size. It's a cake that is a cup size. When you make a miniature one, like those tiny ones that like barely fit in your, like they just fit on three fingers or whatever when you hold them. What are you talking about? That's not a cupcake. It's a mini cupcake. Yeah, but who has mini cups? You might as well call it a shot glass cupcake. It's called a mold for mini cupcakes. Ew, you eat cupcakes with mold? No. No. If I did, it'd be an accident. Not that kind of mold, you dumbass. I'm talking about a cavity mold. (sighs) You can get cavities from mold, I'm sure. And you can get cavities from cupcakes. But the point is, cupcakes are delicious. Such a lie and such a betrayal to an actual cupcake. That doesn't stop you from eating them. No, it doesn't. No, of course not. But, like, I'm not happy about it. Okay, but think of it this way. Like, we can watch, like, our like our diet, you know? Like, if we just want to have a quick snack and a whole cupcake. Mini cupcakes, please. you know, you can get with that. Yes, please. Give me a mini cupcake. Yeah, I would and I'll eat have one right three now. so I, could, I, I can make an actual cupcake. Okay. Three okay. of them to equal an actual cup instead of these little shot glass cakes. This isn't going anywhere. Come. Yeah, they're not, so they should be banned. If I see them in stores, I'm going to knock it over. You're going to eat it. Well, I yes, yes, but in my mind, I'm boycotting. Next topic, interviews. So watermelon or so not watermelon? They are so watermelon if it's that, being for something that I care about, but like a job interview, yeah. no. I don't like those. Yeah, it depends yeah. on the interview, which... For jobs, I really don't see why you need to be interviewed. Like, you already have the papers and the references. Just hire or say no. To be fair, we're, our job is just to be us. So mm-hmm. we didn't really have to have an interview for that. I mean, no. I mean, we also get interviewed by, like, people. Yeah, I like those. Unless they're asking I, inappropriate questions. Yeah, I like to have the questions asked to me first before I go on TV. You, you pre-screen? Yeah. There's no way I'm going in with my eyes open. But everything we do is filmed. What is left to interview? It's like, how did you feel about that? It's like you saw it. We, yeah. we, we're on a reality show. You saw the, yeah, you saw the reaction. How do you think I felt? Yeah. Once I, I was interviewed by Tyra Sim Banks once, mm-hmm. and her questions were so stupid. I'd be like, you will know what? I'm I'm feeling really good right now. And then she'd be like, but how do you feel? And it's like I just said. Yeah, yeah. she she likes she likes to repeat herself. So listen, I love Tyra. Like I think she's a legend. Really? I think she's a legend. And I think she's For... a good host. Maybe not the best interviewer. She's a legend in other ways. Modeling. She's a modeling legend. She's a legend in being a sweet she's traumatized person. a lot of model sims. That were that's making not their true. way. That's not true. Sure. Well, Listen, there's video evidence. There, She's yeah. worn some of our products. Don't you ruin this for us? Anyway, so oh, yeah, go Tyra. Love her. And um, but yeah, interviews in general they can be kind of pointless. And if you're like a trying mm-hmm. like a like a getcha question, f- that like I really don't like when they do the getcha question. Yeah. They know not to ask me to do an interview because I'll just say no. Unless they're confronting you about something that you know you did wrong that you're not addressing. Cabin. That's Who when they that? have to speak to my lawyer. Yeah. Mm. You know how many times I've had to say that? Speak to my lawyer, to customers, to interviewers, to customers. I don't think we have enough time in a podcast yes. to discuss how many times. But interviews oh, wow. are, they're okay. They're still watermelon. They help get things across, but sometimes they're just stupid, like job interviews. Who needs that? I would say so, not watermelon. Yeah. Eh. It's both. They're they're just watermelon, yeah, not of... so watermelon. Just, they're just, just it. watermelon. Just watermelon. Next topic, tractors. 
so watermelon or so not watermelon? So watermelon. I know nothing about tractors. I think they're so watermelon. It's just like they're so annoying, though, sometimes. Like when you're trying to drive, it's the tractor that always gets in the mm-hmm. way. It's like, everybody stop. Go around the orange cones for the tractor. It's like, what are yeah, you even doing? You That's go, so important building. <laughs> especially yeah. because there's so much construction in Los Angeles. It's like, do we really wait? What are the tractors again? Are they the ones with the big scoop thingy? I think like so. Yeah, boom? we saw one on a farm. Yeah, well, Courtney's very somebody familiar was with in, that kind someone of Someone was in the way. I was trying to operate one. Oh, but... my God. Yeah, your sisters. Yeah, that one time we were at G- Gay's farm. I you know. said to move. Mm. Anyway, I think there's actually, you know, there's still not watermelon. I feel like there yeah, should be an improvement watermelon. an improvement on tractors. Like, you're, you're, you're disrupting the peace. You're getting in the way. You're causing people to get hurt. Like, you know, do better. They should have... They should also have like blinkers on them. Yeah, something. You know, I think they actually have like a beep, left. beep. They have horns. I think. Well, again. Yeah. See what I'm saying? We shouldn't have to question tractors. We should just know, and it should be better. If, if they insist on being on the street, they should get blinkers. Ugh, it's so annoying when they're in the street. I it's would so take annoying. one on the street. That'd be great. I mean, you, that's one way to get through traffic faster if you're driving a tractor. Oh and my you God. get like Just scoop all the cars out of the way. Yeah. They're so not watermelon. They could be better. Yeah, they're so not watermelon. They just need some. Imp- they're pretty watermelon if you're driving it and destroying stuff. No, oh not God. even then. And you know what? Why not just make them look a little bit better? Like, we have nice cars. Can't there be nice? Tr- Why do they have to look so ugly? You would want to bling it out. Yeah. I wouldn't call them ugly. That's a little rude. Sim TV pimp my tractor. I don't know if it was blinged out. I think that it may cause like our, our eyes to like you know like in the sun like ah, I can't see and cause an accident. So maybe they're ugly and, and basic for a reason. That's not how sun works though. Anyway, let's move on. Last topic: doors. So watermelon or so not watermelon? I think doors are so watermelon. Yeah, doors are watermelon. I mean, One. you need them so. Yes, you do need them. One, like, think about it. Doors can be used for so many things. Horror movies, they love doors. They love to bust through them, make you scared. Doors don't even survive in horror movies. Nobody so. ever thinks about the doors. What about them? But what, Yeah, if anything, those are disrespected. But what I love about doors is that, like, they are so expressive. Like... Like, you know, you could open a door, like, say you want someone to come in, it's like, come in, like, be all sensual and close the door, you know, it's like, close the door, you know, or it could be like, I'm so pissed, I'm going to slam this door and you're going to know, yeah. you're going to yeah. know Doors I'm can mad. Be, yeah. it's, Doors, the be- it's the best to slam a door in somebody's face. Yeah. I love it. So, they can be used as an emotional device. Truly. Like, if I'm happy and welcoming people i leave the door open yeah i don't want to talk to anybody like my sisters i close the door or if you're crying you close the door i will i don't do that very often so Mm, i wouldn't i can't even think of an instance but but we're just thinking of one door like think of like stall doors imagine if we didn't have stall doors imagine if like a bathroom door Yeah, or you can, like, say, like, you know, someone, like, they're also good for expression, like, someone open the door for me. Like, or, now, or the you... kind of door that I don't like, though, are those swinging doors. Those are like, a little what, annoying. What is the point? If you push really hard, you could hit somebody on the other side. Yeah, I mean, and think of the poor waiters when they have these meals and somebody just shoves the door and they yeah. spill everything. Yeah, doors have their ups and downs, but they can also be used for comedic, comedic, comedic effect. Like, say you're like, like, like you're like holding a plate of dishes, and then like someone busts open the door and it like lands on your face, like a funny cartoon. You know what I'm saying? So it has. Yeah, what they down. don't show is them getting lacerated and cut to death by the plates. We don't need to see cartoon. That. Talking about cartoons, I gotta be yeah, so but dark that's tub. what happens. I mean, like, think about what happens to that cartoon. They don't ever show. They just quickly go to something else. But that person just died. They're usually in the next episode, Kim. So I, I, I think doors are so watermelon. Let's be honest. Like, we couldn't live without them. There are people that mm-hmm. literally do. And I don't know how you do it. But I need my door. I need but to yeah. lock my door I to mean, let people pass aggressively know that stay the hell out of my room. 
I need Even it. Even blankets yeah. could act as doors, like or shower curtains. Really, when you think about it, a shower curtain is mm, a that's door. That's pushing it. That's a curtain. What What did you define a door to be? What is the definition of a door? Something a that's... door that holds an entrance entrance to something and a curtain isn't an entrance to something it's just a curtain it could be curtain is meant to reveal or to close out not to close the door and what does a door do it reveals what's on the other side anyway a curtain is a door i love cabinet doors i love cabinet doors i love refrigerator doors it's all about doors doors. actual doors not curtains so refrigerator door which could also be a curtain it's not it's a curtain. Curtaining, it's curtains off the you food. You can't seal anything with a curtain. You, no. Well, all you have to do is get a little bit of Velcro. A curtain is a door without a lock. Okay. Anyway, I uh, love that. Doors are so watermelon. They Doors are, are so, so watermelon. watermelon. Just like curtains. Sure. They're two different things, but they are. They're the same. They're the same thing. Literally the same thing. To you. Who's the smartest? Me. Me. Okay, segment three, moving on. Who's the smartest? We're given three random words we don't know, and we try to guess what they mean. Whoever guesses the closest is the smartest. I'm ready let's to just, win this. Let's just dive right in. Nobody oh, won last that's time. That's different. Yeah, but nobody won last time, but I'm ready to win this. Okay. I, I can feel it. Shut I can up. feel it in my ass. Guy Rograff. G Y R O G R A P H. All right, let's break down this word. We have graph, right? Yeah. Now, what the f is gyro? That's the question. I thought that was some kind of meat. Isn't that? I feel like that's an exercise. Okay, so I'm thinking it's some sort of measurement on a graph for the gyro metrics. So that's the, it's it's the measurement of gyrometrics. No, you can't you can't use that, Chloe. No, Courtney, I'm using a actually... I'm using a part of the word in a new word you can't in the definition. Do that. And it's not asking about what gyrometrics are. It's asking what a gyrograph is, right? Yeah, so but that's you don't know what, what gyro is. is, bitch. For me, it does sound like it's like it shows the measurements of like gyrometric fire, something something related to fire. Like not a thermometer, not showing heat, but it like shows some sort of measurements that involve stuff that has like fire. Okay. Because pyro, gyro. I don't know. It measures the heat of like with of flame. How, of how hot something is? Or... I don't know, but it has to do with fire, measuring fire. Camera over that. Courtney, what do you think? I think it's mapping out different type of meats. Okay. Is gyro a meat? That's what I'm guessing. What part of the cow is that? It's Why does it have to be a cow? It's a bunch of meats together. It's probably something near the ass. So like spam? Is that spam? Sure. Is spam does spam come from the ass? No. I mean, actually, I don't know, to be honest. Spam's yeah. kind of a mystery. The definition means used to determine optimal bitumen mixtures for paving. Paving? Like as in pavement? Like cement? So like when it mixes cement? An instrument for registering the revolutions of a mechanism, such as a wheel. Oh my god. I said gyrometric. So like every time like a wheel turns, I said the word metric. how many times it turns. Kind of like the thing used for cement, probably. Oh, I don't know. like I don't, the, I don't know if it registers it... the revolutions, though. Who needs to count that? So any of us could be a gyrograph if I count how many times something spins or yeah. goes in a. That's so stupid. Pretty I, much. Yeah, I don't like it. Does it's... gyro mean circle? No, it could be a spinning top too. Oh my! So anything that you measure something spinning. But it has to be an in- instrument that measures spinning. Ugh. Second word, vine wed. V i n e w e d, or well, vine wed. For for a while, that was probably people getting having their wedding on vine. I think that okay. Big platform. So have probably. you guys ever? Have you two ever heard of vinyl? 
You know what vinyl is? Yeah. It's a plastic. Yeah, like a, it's like a, pl- that it's a plastic. Record. That's what records. Or, yeah, that too. Olden uh, times. So I think a vine, a vine um, wed, is that what it's called? Vine wed? Yeah. yeah. I think it's the process of making vinyl plastics. Because wed means like, traditionally, it means for something to come together, like a wedding. I think it's the... It, I think it's vines, the the section where vines like twist and stuff together before they're bitterly divorced. You make a good point. Thank marriage, you. Yeah, marriage you is never a know. Scam. Marriage is a scam. It's a scam. I mean, I think it's the process of putting something together to make wine. Yeah, like any kind of like vines, like plant vines. I think it's more of the vinyl, like plastic. Yeah, Let's see. but do you think it's the? You said it was the process. It's the process of making, of making the like the the plastic of vinyl and like pro, you know using it and heating it and all that. Okay, it's this is kind of like the past term of it, and it's to become moldy. Ew! When something's vine wet, it's mold. Are when we it's just, vine new, we were talking about molds earlier, and this is not the mold that I was talking about. No. That is yeah. gross. The moldy or musty. Yeah. Okay. So, like, that, take a shower. That man is Vinwood. Vin Vinewood. Yeah. That oh my person. God. Bad bo. Sleeping on the street is Vinwood. Vin Vin Vinwood. Oh my god. Vinewood. I'm never gonna use this word. I'm just gonna literally no, call it, say you it's think. It's a dumb word. It is. Vinewood. Truly. Where does that even? None of that even sounds like. Like, you know, mold and stuff. Other words for mold usually actually sound like gross sounding. Vine wet actually sounds like it could be a wine. Yeah, it sounds glamorous. Isn't sounds like wine vinyl. technically mold? It doesn't sound like vinyl. Yes, it does, bitch. Vine wet, if you say it like that, fine. If I thought it, somebody else listening to this podcast thought it too. I hope the next word is better than this one because it's nothing but a disappointment and gross, okay. literally. Third word, organ die. O R G A N D I E. I it's wonder. Literally if, organ die. Yeah, should we not be crazy with this one and just say it means for an organ to die? Yeah, an or organ. Or will this mean like the blossoming of a butterfly? Yeah. You never know. Okay, I okay. Let's break down the word. I think it has to do with an organ of some sort, but an organ could be different. Like even plants have organs. But like an organ has a function. Yes. But it dies. So could it? Is it just an organ f- that that has failed, or? I think it just sounds like an organ that's died. Like, could we all go in on that one? Or what I, if it's organdy? Oh. <sighs> then it could be like the people who died on the organ trail. I think it's a yoga pose. The organ. Are we not going in it together? Study. It's something. Okay, so me and you, Chloe, we're going pose. in on this together, and we'll die like this organ. No, I'm in on. I'm in on that one. No, you, you just give, said it was. You guys have to give alternate answers. We've done that before. No, yeah, we've done that before, but I literally can't think of anything else. Fine, my my alternate answer is it's when you put die on your organ for me like you it, need to you need to color it a certain way so you could see it in an x-ray fine that for stuff me you drink for me it's the process of creating other types of milks you have almond milk oat milk you break it down and it's an organ dye there happy now i gave two wrong answers okay so it switched it to organdy a fine translucent cotton or silk fabric that is usually stiffened and used for women's clothing oh my god it's a bazaar it's a type it's stupid it's is what fabric. it is that are those answers that like we can never get are always fabric or plant related they always you realize are that? Pretty much. And i'm sick of the it. ones that don't sound like what they are it is a plant or it's fabric just disappointment we're all yeah. One oh. day we're gonna be hit with a damn plant fabric. What I oh god, what I hate is like when the word actually sounds like it could be something interesting and it's just not fabric. Anyway, thank you all li- for listening to the Cardassian podcast. We're sorry that these words like I'm sorry if you listen to these words and you're like these dumb bitches don't know. Well, guess what? We didn't know 
But the whole and point is to learn something. guess what you didn't know either? We educate You're ourselves. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. That's really what we are at the end of the day. We're an educational podcast. You no. can learn so much. No. Not really, but I'm, let's not push it. We are it. educational. Kim, being rude. Do you know how much listeners have learned from us? From me specifically, especially when it comes to the law? Nothing. You're such Literally a Literally nothing. Or I'm business. I'm a lawyer. Anyway, don't forget to go to shopsimgm.com. Don't forget to this check is out. This last week. Yes, it's last week for those. There will be other stuff, but it's the last week for the uh, neon um, graffiti. Simgm related. Uh, Kardashian related. Super cool. Fighter and Survivor. If you're a fighter and survivor, I need you to prove it by getting that shirt or hoodie, please. Or hoodie. Yeah. Please. Be sure to subscribe to this podcast. Be sure to subscribe to SimGM on YouTube. Five stars. Prudence and Zach. And uh, yeah, and the SimGM hi- and the uh, Kardashian podcast highlights. Mm-hmm. going to be popping there. All right. Thank you, everybody. Love you so much. And I and, love you. Thanks and guess for what? Us. Exactly. And Kim and Courtney don't have to say anything because I can speak for them in saying how much they love and respect you. And the respect. I mean, it's okay, more personal. So they don't to hear respect you. From... They want to talk. No, it's more personal to hear it from I Kim. stayed quiet. Kim, they're drifting off to sleep right now. Like they're listening to us on the way to if sleep. You're, if you're dripping, uh, if no, you're Kim, that won't help. Sleep, that won't help. That won't help. Kim, it won't help you. you. Kim, Kim, we can't night. afford that song. Yeah, okay. and it's not that time of year. Or it All might right. be. It might be. Yeah, you don't Halloween know that. Night. Shut up. So I was th- adjusting. No. All right. You're going to sing night. for every holiday. Good I night. should. Good night, everybody. Sleep tight. It's Halloween Stop night. Stop it. No. What? They're trying what? to sleep. Good night. Love you all. Bye. Love you. Good, Good morning. morning. Bye. Good afternoon. I love that. I love that I love so much. That. I love that more. I love it more infinity. Mm-hmm.